Comenius, The Beginnings, Part 3c, Constellations Australis, Oinotioi, The Constellations of the Southern Hemisphere, Janua Linguarum Reserata, De Firmamento, Peritu Stera Omatos, Signa, Tasemata, Ketus, Keti, Toketos, Tu Keteos, In Keto, Viginti et Duai, In Kete, Ecosi Duo. Ketos in Greek means both sea monster in general and whale specifically, and the constellation Ketus belongs to two star groups, those constellations belonging to the region of the sky known as the sea, and to the constellation family of nine constellations known as the Perseus family. Six of these are the characters in the Perseus myth. Perseus is winged horse Pegasus, Andromeda, her parents Cepheus and Cassiopeia, and our sea monster Ketus. And here's a color-coded map of constellation families, and you can see the Perseus family up here and over here, and you can see our Ketus right here below the ecliptic. Stellae Australis intra signa vigenti duae, Stellae Australis informes nulla, Asteras notioi morpeentes ecosi duo, Asteras notioi amorpotoi udes, Suma intra signa sescentae quadraginta duae, informes duo de nonaginta, Toque palaion morpeentes hexacosioi tetaraconta duo amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Orion, Oriones, ho Orion, Orionos. In Orione, duo de quadraginta ubi sunt primae magnitudinis umerus dexter et pes sinister Orionis. En Orioni triaconta octo, hopu protum getus almos dexios cae pus aristeros Orionos. Orion was a great hunter, but as so often occurs in Greek mythology and literature, too boastful, hubristic for his own good. Stellae Australis intrasigna sexaginta, informes nulla. Asteres notioi morpeentes execonta amorpotoi udes. In summa intrasigna sescentae octoginta. Informes duo de nonaginta. En kepalaioi asteres morpeentes hexacosioi ogdoeconta amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Eridanus, Eridani, ho Eridanos, tu Eridanu. In Eridano, vel fluio Nilo, trigenta quatuor, ubi est primae magnitudinis Eridanus. En Eridanoi, e potamoi, triaconta tetares, ho pu protu negetus ho Eridanos. The standard name among Greek astronomers was Hopotomos, the river. Aratus calls it the much weeping river Eridanus. The river was identified variously as the Nile, the Rhone, the Rhine, especially the Po in Italy, and as the mythical river into which plunged the burning chariot of Phaethon. The first magnitude star, also called Eridanus in the Comanian text, is Akernar, Arabic for end of the river. Now, technically, Akernar, modern designation Alpha Eridani, was not visible to Ptolemy in Alexandria in his day. The star Ptolemy saw at the end of the river was Akarnar, which also means end of the river in Arabic, modern designation Theta Eridani. Australis intrasigna. Non agenta quatuor, informes nulla.
notioi morpeentes en eneconta tetares amorpotoi udes. Totae stellae intrasigna septingentae quat tuordecem informes duode non agenta. Antes asteres morpeentes heptacosioi tetares cae deca. Amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Lepus, lepores, o lagos, tu lago, in lepore duodecem, in lagoi dodeca. In the Orion family of constellations, Orion and his two dogs, Canis Maior and Canis Minor, chase Lepus the hare. Later, the non Ptolemaic constellation Monokeros, unicorn, was added to this group. In antiquity, only the courageous Roman legion hare Bugs Bunny was able to stand up for a wabbit's whites. <music> Australis intrasigna centum sex, informes nulla, notioi morpeentes hecaton hex, amorpotoi udes. Summa ad hoc intrasigna septingentae vigenti sex, informes duo de non agenta. Toque paleon mecritutu morpeentes heptacosio ecosi hex, amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Canis, canis ho cuon tu cunos, in cane maiore, Duo de vigenti et undicem informes, obi primae magnitudinis canis cadens, id est Sirius. En cuni octo caideca cae amorpotoi hendeca, hopu protumigetus ho serios. To the Greeks, canis maior was simply ho cuon, canis minor ho procuon. These are Orion's two hunting dogs, Though the dog has other identifications, such as lilops, a gift of Zeus to Europa, or the dog given to the nymph Procris in another hunting myth. The first magnitude star Sirius, aka the dog or the dog star, is the brightest star in the night sky, and especially for the Romans, harbinger of summer's deadliest heat, Aistus, Takamata. Australis intrasigna centum vigenti quatuor, informes undecem, notioi morpeentes hecaton ecosi tetares, amorpotoi hendeca, summa ad tempus intrasigna septingentae quadragenta quatuor, informes undecentum, toque palaion mecritunun morpeentes Heptacosioi tetaraconta tetares, amorpotoi eneneconta enea. Canis minor ho procuon tu procunos, in cane minore vel ante cane duae ubi est primae magnitudinis procuon. In procuni duo ho puprotu megetus ho procuon. If you look Closely, you'll see that while Ptolemy classifies Procuon, Canis Minor, as a Notios, a southern constellation, it appears in the IAU Sky and Telescope star map on this slide in the north, and that is because of the precession of the equinoxes. The Earth's axis itself rotates and completes a rotation approximately every 26,000 years. The dog is shown on this card from Urania's mirror as riding on the back of Monokeros, unicorn, a constellation that first appears on star maps in the early 17th century. Besides being the second of Orion's hunting dogs, the dog was identified, for example, as the uncatchable Telmesian fox. The constellation's first magnitude star, Procuon, before the dog, 
rises one hour before Sirius, the dog. Australes intrasigna centum vigenti sex, informes undecem. Notioi morpeentes hecaton ecosi hex, amor potoi endeca. In summa intrasigna septingentae quadragenta sex, informes unde centum. En kepalaioi morpeentes heptacosioi tetaraconta hex, amor potoi eneneconta enea. Argus, argi, e argo, tes argus. In argo, vel nave, quadragenta quinque, ubi est primae magnitudinus canopus. En argoe, tetaraconta penta, hopu protu megetus ho canobos, e canopos. Argo nawes, the ship of Jason and the Argonauts, is the one constellation of Ptolemy's no longer classified as a constellation. In 1752, about a century after Comenius, the French astronomer Nicolas Louis de Lacaille subdivided the constellation into Carina, the ship's keel, Pupis, its stern, Wela, the sails, and according to some Puxis, the compass, formerly Malus, the mast. Canopus, in Carina, is the second brightest star in the night sky after Sirius. Australes intrasigna centum septuaginta una, informes undecem. Notioi morpeentes hecaton hebdomeconta hes, amorpotoi hendeca. Totae stellae intrasigna septingentae nonagenta una, informes unde centum, pantes asteres morpeentes heptacosioi eneneconta hes, amorpotoi eneneconta enea. Hudra, hudrae, e hudra tes hudras, in Hudra vigenti quinque et duae informes, en Hudra ecosipente cae duo amorpotoi. Hydra is the largest of the 88 modern constellations, and it is usually represented as a water snake, o Hudros in Ptolemy, he Hudra in Aratus, not to be confused with the modern-day constellation Hydrus. By burning the stump of each head to prevent its regrowing, Heracles was able to dispatch for good the multi-headed swamp snake Hydra in Greek mythology. In a second legend, a crow, the constellation Corvus, was sent by Apollo to fetch water in his cup, the constellation Crater. The crow dawdled and then blamed the water snake for blocking the spring. Apollo knew better and placed all three in the stars, where the water snake eternally prevents the crow from drinking water from the cup. Australes intrasigna centum nonaginta sex informes tredicem, notioi morpeentes hecaton eneneconta hex, amor potoi tres caideca, summa ad hoc intrasigna octingentae sedecem, informes centum et una. Toque paleon mecritutu morpeentes octacosioi hecaideca, amorpotoi hecaton hes. Crater, crateres, cratera, craterae. Ho crater, tu crateros. In cratere, Vel una septem, en cratere hepta. Australes intrasigna ducentae tres, informes tredecem. Notioi morpeentes diacosioi tres, amorpotoi tres caideca. Summa ad tempus intrasigna octingentae vigenti tres, informes Centum et una. 
toke paleon mekri tunun mor peentes octacosioi ecosi tres amorpotoi hecaton hes. Corvus, corvi, o corax tu coracos, in corvo septem, in coraci hepta. We know the story of Apollo and the crow and the cup. There is also the one about Apollo and Coronis, daughter of the king of the Lapiths and one of Apollo's lovers. In Apollo's absence, a white crow left for the purpose failed to prevent an illicit affair between Coronis and Iscus, though Coronis was already pregnant with Asclepius. Apollo's angry curse turned the white crow's feathers permanently black. Australes intrasigna ducentae decem, informes tredecem, notioi morpeentes diacosioi deca, amorpotoi tres caedeca, summa intrasigna octingentae trigenta, informes centum et una, Toque paleon mor peentes, octa cosioi triaconta, amor potoi hecaton hes. Centaurus, centauri, ho centauros tu centauru, in centauro vel chirone trigenta septem, ubi primae magnitudinis pes centauri. En centauroi e keroni, Triaconta hepta, hopu protu megetus hopus centauro. The centaur is pictured here in the lower left hand corner of Urania's mirror, impaling lupus, the beast. Ovid in the Fasti identifies the centaur as Chiron, but ancients and moderns disagree on which centaur is which in this constellation and in Sagittarius. Australes intrasigna ducentae quadragenta septem, informes tredecem, notioi morpeentes diacosioi tetaraconta hepta, amorpotoi tres caedeca. Totae stellae intrasigna octingentae sexagenta septem, informes centum et una, pantes asteras morpeentes Octacosioi hexaconta hepta, amorpotoi hecaton hes. Bestia, bestiae, to terion, tu teriu. In bestia centauri, vel lupo, vel fera, unde viginti. En terioi ene acaideca. Aratus and Ptolemy simply called this constellation Toterion, the beast gripped by the centaur. Ancient Latin authors referred to it variously as Bestia, Fera, Hostia. The modern name Lupus, wolf, begins appearing in late medieval Latin sources such as the Latin Almagest and the Alphonsine tables. Australes intrasigna ducentae sexagenta sex, informes tredecem, notioi morpeentes diacosioi hexaconta hex, amorpotoi tres caedeca, summa intrasigna octingentae octogenta sex, informes centum et una, toque palaion morpeentes Octacosioi ogdoeconta hex, amorpotoi hecaton hes. Ara, arai, to tumiaterion, tu tumiateriu. In ara, vel turibulo, vel lare, quatuordecem et septem informes. En tumiaterioi tetares caideca, amorpotoi hepta. Greek authors called this constellation to Tumiaterion, incense burner, translated by Germanicus as Turibulum. Besides Turibulum, the Romans had many names for this constellation, 
including ara, altar, focus, and ignitabulum, hearth, and lar, lar familiaris, the tutelary god of the hearth. According to some ancient sources, Zeus and his Olympian siblings, normally the recipient of prayers, built this altar for their own use in their epic struggle against the Titans, the Titanomachy. Australes intrasigna ducentae octoginta, informes viginti, notioi morpeentes diacosioi ogdoeconta, amorpotoi ecosi, in summa intrasigna non gentae, informes centum octo, in kepalaioi morpeentes enacosioi, amorpotoi hecaton octo. Corona, coronae, ho stepanos, tu stepanu, in corona austrina, well corona australe, well rota ixionis tredicem, in uranisgoi e stepanoi notioi tres caideca. Ptolemy calls this constellation stepanos notios, the scholiast to Aratus says people variously called it Uraniskos, a diminutive meaning little sky, or they called it the wheel of Prometheus or the wheel of Ixion. It is also called Corona Centauri and Corona Sagittarii. It lacked the rich mythological associations of Corona Borealis, which is perhaps why Germanicus called it Corona Sine Honore. Australis intrasigna ducentae non agenta tres, informes viginti, notioi morpeentes diacosioi enenecunta tres, amorpotoi ecosi, summa ad hoc intrasigna non gentae tredecem, Informes centum octo. Toque paleon mecritutu morpeentes en acosioi trescaideca amorpotoi hecaton octo. Piscis, piscis ho ictus, tu ictuos, in pisce austrino, well notio, undecem et sex, ubi una primae magnitudinis in ore piscis, in notioi ictui hendeca, amorpotoi hex, hopu hes protumegetus in stomati ictuos. The great fish, ho megas ictus, Eratosthenes, drank the water poured by Aquarius, Ovid and Virgil called the fish the piscis aquosus, and fathered the pair of fish comprising the constellation Pisces in the zodiac. The first magnitude star in the fish's mouth is fomalo, an Arabic word for the mouth of the fish. As first reported in Science Magazine in 2008, with an accompanying coronagraphic image from the Hubble Space Telescope, Fomalo supplied us our first candidate exoplanet, Fomalo b. Again, an exoplanet is a planet orbiting a star other than our sun. Fomalo b has a highly elliptical 1,700-year orbit about its star. Totae stellae australes intrasigna trecenta quatuor informes viginti sex. Pantes asteres notioi morpeentes triacosioi tetares amorpotoi ecosi hex. Totae stellae intrasigna non gentae viginti quatuor. Totae stellae informes centum quatuor decem. Sympantes asteres morpeentes enacosioi ecosi tetares. Sympantes asteres amorpotoi, hecaton tetares kai deca. And remember this from the beginning of the constellations. 
when we said stellarum fixarum in firmamento circum secus praecise numerantur mille viginti duae praeter tres in quinquino berenices poi a planes in uranoi periteontes Helioi ecosi duo arit muntae ectos trion in come berenices and we have a discrepancy in our total. Comenius translator on the one hand seems to have taken the correct summary figure 1022 from the Almagest, but on the other hand the number of stars he reports for each constellation varies sometimes from those of the Almagest for reasons we'll never know, hence a different total. In any case, we hope you have benefited from the workout in Roman and Greek numerals.